Jeremy. How are Hi. you? Good. For someone who's been such an avid lover of the performing arts, you obviously have a lot of history in the arts, performing on Broadway. Um, what was your initial reaction to being approached for this role? Like, were you already familiar with Neil and Casablanca? No, I didn't know anything. Uh, it was it was kind of wild how it happened. I mean, I this movie's been kicking around for like 20 years and it was in a studio and then was out of studio. There were other actors attached. And um, I was my name was given to the director when um, he was trying to find, you know, uh, us looking looking in the sort of lesser known Broadway pool. Mm -hmm. And uh, and he saw a couple videos of me and um, just kind of decided that I had the essence of his father just sort of innately within me and <laughs> approached me with a with the with the project and and kind of wooed me it was very strange i've never been wooed before um and we did like a table read and he offered it me to me right there i mean it was um i was really kind of lucky and fortunate as to how it came about um wasn't the traditional uh way and i actually ended up having to say no at first because my daughter was being born while they wanted to shoot it in Canada. And I was like, I can't make it happen. And then they thankfully pushed it. So um, yeah, it was, it was, it was good. It's funny that you said you were wooed because um, when people see the movie, I think that's something that they'll feel about Neil. He was very charismatic. Yes. Um, so mm -hmm. he definitely had a way with words. He definitely had a way of convincing people to do things that he wanted them to do. Um, mm -hmm. All for the greater good in the end. Um, but um, biopics can be, you know, kind of controversial. They sometimes get a bad mm -hmm. rep for prioritizing like drama and excitement over like an accurate portrayal of, you know, the characters, yeah. um, their truths. So I want to know with there being so little known about Neil, yeah. um, could you tell me how you were able to kind of navigate like balancing accurately playing him while also adding like your own flair to the role? Well, I think I think that we really um, leaned into the fact that biopics tend to sort of skew the truth a little bit. Mm -hmm. And there's always there's always debate and controversy over what really happened, especially when you're in the age before everything was being recorded. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, from the very beginning of the movie, you see like a over dramatized version of how he went and got Oh, Happy Day and got them to to sign them. And then he immediately says, that's not really how it happened. And yeah. so the, the whole movie is kind of an open interpretation of it. And, um, and, you know, you can kind of sort of, there's a, there's a little bit of a winking quality, but a lot of it is really true. And, and a lot of the emotions and a lot of the characters and, and the, you know, core of it and how these things happened, um, you know, is as truthful as we, we could tell it. But at the same time, we know that there are going to be, you know, interpretations of them. And so we try to just keep it as sort of, you know, open as we could throughout so that, so that, you know, people can sort of draw their own conclusions and draw their own judgments from it too. You know, we don't comment on it too much, you know, especially when it gets darker and he starts to do more drugs and, um, you know, his relationships with his wife and, you know, when he cheats on her and, and all that stuff, it's like, it was true, but it's, but your interpretation of it as, an, as an audience member, I think, kind of helps form your opinion of the movie. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know um, Neil and Casablanca were kind of before your time. Yeah. Um, but did you grow up listening to any Casablanca artists? Did you have any favorite artists or? Yeah. Something? I mean, yeah. yeah, for sure. I mean, all this stuff was. Just, I mean, my my parents would listen to the oldies station when I was growing up, and at first I was like, "Oh, what is this?" But you know, you you start <laughs> yeah. to good music is going to get yeah. to you. Like yeah. it's going to, it's going to, it's going to get in your bones eventually. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I was, a, I was always a big, um, big fan of, you know, Kiss and the Isley Brothers and Gladys Knight. I, I, you know, probably more so than like Donna Summer and like the disco stuff. I was definitely more into like the soulful and the rock and roll stuff that they had put out. Um, but yeah, I got to know all of it during this process and grew to love it in a, and have a different kind of appreciation for it. Yeah. Well, it sounds like filming was definitely a fun experience. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun under all those polyester layers in mm -hmm. June, <laughs> July in a warehouse. Uh, otherwise fun. Yeah, definitely.